Hello and welcome to the video on parsing an XML document. Uh, parsing means analyzing text. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my player's XML that we saved in, my, uh, in that directory, my stuff. And I want to look at the XML file. And here's what I want to do. I want to extract the data that's between the tags. This is a string right here. This whole thing is a string. It's a certain length and I can use C++ code to find out the length of that string. I can also use C++ code to find the first occurrence of this greater than sign. When I do that, that will tell me that I'm at the end of an opening tag. I can also use C++ code to tell me the first occurrence of the less than sign with a forward slash. When I do that, it will tell me that I'm, I'm at the end of the data. I'm at the end of Gorky. So I can find out in this string when I'm at the beginning of my data and I'm at the end of my data. And then I'll use another piece of C++ code that'll just pull out the data because it now knows where, where the, the first tag ends and it knows where the closing tag starts. So the code will now just extract this Gorky. It'll extract M. It'll extract or, ORC, FIGHTER, and 45, and, and two, 205, and so on. That's what the C++ code will do. It will ignore these. It won't display these at all. It'll just give me some spaces. And then what'll happen, it'll do the same thing here. It'll figure out where does this, this uh, tag end? Where does this tag begin? Knowing that information, I can now parse the, uh, the text and pull this out, ignoring the opening tag and the closing tag. Let's let's give this a shot and, and see what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and compile it. I'm gonna bring it right here. And there it is, there's all my stuff uh, th that 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 was in the XML document. And this is where, where the other tags were that I ignored. So I was able to extract or parse the data from the XML document. Now you might be asking yourself, you might be saying, well, if that's what I want to do, why do I have these tags in here in the first place if, if I'm ignoring them? Well, you will see a reason what makes XML powerful in the next video. But for right now, and we'll see the importance of these tags, and you realize, oh, that's why they use it in games. Uh, but for now, what I, what I wanted to show you is what parsing is. Parsing means analyzing text. What I needed to do is I needed to have an include string. And what string does, string has a new data type called size underscore t. And I have position open and position closed. This helped tells me the location of something within the string. This should be familiar to you. This comes from your, your F stream. This is what my file open and I'm going to open players XML and it's going to be IO stream in means I'm going to get stuff into the program and this is reading the file while it doesn't fail so this is familiar this is what we've done before we get the file and, and the material that's in it for the first line now we're putting that stuff in this variable string and we're going to open position open, string find the first occurrence of the uh, greater than sign once we find uh, that where that position is, we know where the, the opening tag will, will begin to close. So the new string now has to be that position plus one more. Let me show you what I mean. The new string now is going to come here. It, it found where this tag was. I mean, where that, where, yeah, where, where that uh, character was, the greater than sign. So I want it to start not from there, I want it to start the next position over. So now the new string is actually this. I've created a new string that is actually this now. The next thing that has to be done is that the program has to find where is this located. Okay, so that's what it's going to do next. So it found that and it put it new string. And now for the position close, it's going to go to new string find which is which is a, a method now from uh, the the string include okay it's going to now look for this and then when it sees that I'm going to set new string again to string str substring position open plus one okay which was there and then position close and so it'll just give me the string that's between these two values 
and then it'll it'll show it to me on the output okay which is which is what we saw all right so in, in the next video uh, we'll see how we use uh, the tag names in order to extract specific data from an XML file okay that's it thank you for watching